Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to simplify this uh, given uh, rational expression that uh, consists of a bunch of radicals, as you can see over here. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Before we simplify this uh, expression, we are going to manipulate uh, both uh, the numerator and the denominator first. So therefore, let's focus on this uh, numerator right now. And here I have copied down this uh, numerator over here. And now let's go ahead and focus on this uh, 10 inside this uh, radical. We can tweak uh, 10, we can write it uh, 2 times uh, 5. Likewise, 15 could be written as uh, 3 times uh, 5. And finally, 20 could be written as uh, 4 uh, times uh, 5. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have wrote down this uh, 10 as uh, 2 times 5, 15 as uh, 3 times 5, and finally 20 as uh, 4 times uh, 5. And now let's recall the basic uh, property of radicals. Square root of x times y could be broken down to square root of x times uh, square root of uh, y. So therefore, uh, this uh, first radical could be written as uh, square root of 2 times uh, square root of 5. This uh, next radical could be written as uh, square root of 3 times uh, square root of 5. And finally, this could be written as uh, square root of 4 times uh, square root of uh, 5. And now in this uh, next step, uh, we can see that uh, square root of 4 is same as uh, 2. So therefore, I replace uh, this square root of uh, 4 by 2. And the rest uh, of uh, these are uh, same. Now we can see square root of 5, square root of 5, and square root of 5 is uh, common across the board. So therefore, I'm going to factor out uh, square root of 5 outside and inside parentheses. We're going to have uh, square root of 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 2. So therefore, our this uh, whole uh, numerator has been uh, simplified to this one. Therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, numerator by this one. I'm going to write down square root of 5 times, uh, inside parentheses, square root of 2 plus uh, square root of 3 plus uh, 2, all over. And now, let's focus on this uh, denominator part. And here, I have copied down this uh, denominator over here. And we are going to manipulate uh, this denominator as well. Now let's focus uh, on this uh, square root of 6. Uh, this 6 uh, could be broken down to 2 times uh, 3. This uh, 8 could be broken down to 2 times uh, 4. And we know that the square root of 16 is simply 4. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, square root of 6 by this uh, square root of 2 times 3. And this square root of 8 as uh, 4 times 2. And finally, this uh, square root of 16, I wrote it just simply 4. And now let's recall this uh, property once again. We are going to apply over here, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see that the square root of 4 is same as uh, 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, square root of 4 by 2 over here. The rest are uh, same. And now let me go ahead and tweak this uh, 4. I can write 4 as uh, 2 plus uh, 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, 4 by 2 plus uh, 2. And now let me go ahead and rearrange uh, these uh, terms. I'm going to move this uh, 2 right uh, at uh, this uh, location. As you can see in this uh, next step, this uh, 2 has shown up over here and this uh, 2 is uh, right up here. And now let's recall another uh, crucial factor. Square root of x uh, times uh, square root of x uh, is equal to just simply x. So therefore, I am going to tweak uh, this uh, 2. This could be written as uh, square root of 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, 2 by square root of 2 times uh, square root of 2. And the rest are uh, same. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, next uh, these uh, terms. We can see that square root of 2, square root of 2, and square root 2, they are in common. So therefore, I'm going to factor out uh, square root of 2 among uh, these uh, terms. So we are left with uh, 
square root of 3 plus uh, 2 plus uh, over here finally square root of uh, 2 over here as you can see in this uh, next step uh, I have uh, chunked uh, this part uh, over here inside this uh, parenthesis and uh, this uh, last three terms uh, I wrote them uh, over here and now let's focus on these uh, terms uh, inside this parenthesis and this uh, parenthesis so I am going to rearrange uh, these uh, terms as you can see in this uh, next step uh, now these uh, terms uh, look uh, exactly same like uh, this one and we can see that they are in common so I can factor them out so I can write uh, square root of 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 2 and then uh, times uh, we know that uh, 1 is uh, in the front so I'm going to write down 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 2 so therefore we can see that this uh, whole uh, denominator has been uh, simplified to this one therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, denominator by this simplified form so I can write uh, square root of 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 2 at the denominator and now we can see that this uh, factor in the numerator and this factor at the denominator they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with the square root of 5 divided by 1 plus square root of 2 and now let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator so therefore we are going to multiply by this conjugate of this one which is going to be 1 minus square root of 2 and we're going to divide at the same time 1 minus square root of 2 as well and now let's go ahead and multiply these uh, numerators and the denominators as well. So therefore we got uh, square root of 5 on the top times 1 minus uh, square root of 2 all over 1 plus uh, square root of 2 times 1 minus uh, square root of 2. And now let's focus on this uh, denominator part. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as a square minus b square. We are going to apply it over here. So therefore this could be written as uh, 1 square minus uh, square root of 2 whole square. 1 square is same as 1 minus uh, this is going to give us uh, 2. So that is going to be equal to negative 1. So therefore our this uh, part uh, has been simplified to negative 1. And uh, on the numerator, I'm going to distribute this thing that is going to give us uh, square root of 5 minus when we multiply that's going to give us uh, square root of 10 all over. I'm going to replace this one by this uh, negative 1 at the denominator. And now this uh, negative 1 uh, is going to switch uh, the sign. This is going to become uh, negative and this is going to become uh, positive. So therefore our simplified answer is going to become square root of 10 minus square root of 5 and here is our simplified answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.